Diablo 3. This is a good game, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, what, what's the name of the expansion again? Mm, uh, Reaper of Souls. Reaper of... Welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking. Today I'm going to review the armour and weapons of Malthael. So after the review of the Buster Sword of Cloud Strife, Final Fantasy VII and Kingdom Hearts, I thought it might be interesting to have a look at another character that I really like, and it's Malthael from Diablo 3, the expansion obviously, Reapers of Soul. Now this cosplay that you see here is a very good quality cosplay actually it was given to me um, for the purposes of this video by my friend Alessio Mannino that you saw at the very beginning of this video. I would like to begin from the weapons wielded by Malthahel from Diablo 3. So as you can see these are some kind of interesting weapons because he's not using a sword like Tyrael is but he's using a different kind of weapon and also he's dual wielding and that's also many, one of the things that I think is very interesting and relevant for this for this video. And personally, I think the dual wield is not really something you would do for a battlefield situation. But again, he's an angel, so I suppose that normal rules don't apply to him. So let's talk about these weapons. Now, as a weapon, of course, this is not made of metal because this is cosplay um, material, so it's very light. But I suppose that considering it's very thick, kind of steel looking metal, probably some other kind of metal the angels use, I don't know what kind of metal the angels use, but definitely it needs to be at least as hard as steel, I imagine this would have an amazing weight. Also because you need to consider you need to use one hand. These are one-handed weapons. Scythe, I think. So how would you be able to use this shape in a real combat situation? And of course I think it would be a cutting weapon or something like that to actually pierce the opponent, which is also interesting if your opponent is in full armour, for example. So you could change this, if it's stiff enough, that is, from a cutting weapon into a piercing weapon. Now, I would imagine that this part here would be the edge. I wonder whether it would cut also from this side, but if it does cut on, on this side as well, then you could have some interesting strikes, you know, on the other hand, like this. And the fact that you have two weapons means you're not using a shield. If you're not using a shield, probably the weapon on, on one of these two weapons will be used for defense. So something like this. Right? Similarly to, similar to the way you would use a buckler and a dagger, because they are relatively short weapons, considering the curvature. Um, personally, I would have rather had them probably straight, rather, or slightly curved, not this much, because this makes it a bit of a strange weapon and also if you are going back you could even hit yourself which in the case of the angel is probably not going to be a problem but if it was a real warrior it could be a problem. But let's move to the armour. Now as far as the armour is concerned we have this arm here which has these kind of pointy fingers that I think could have some kind of damage could be used as a weapon and this is obviously the right arm in the character. And the fact that he is protecting only one of the two arms is significant. Um, a bit strange actually, considering that both his arms are striking arms, they should have the same amount of protection, I think. Unless he's using one arm, he needs one arm to be, to be more nimble for whatever reason. Um, if we have a look at the actual cuirass here, now again this is a very interesting cuirass because he has got a gorget and a very high neck protection and if you notice he has got overlapping plates and these overlapping plates will mean double protection in most of his torso 
although if it was me, I would have only had probably two plates intercepting, um, but still, it's interesting how they, they worked it out. Moving to the pauldrons, we have relatively small pauldrons, particularly if we compare them to northern Italian style, armour armor and blacksmithing style, but they are interesting because they have these um, projections here weapons and blows, that's how it would look. It looks fantastic, but of course it's fantasy in a real situation. I like the fact that he's got three plates here, so again, overlapping means more protection, doubled and tripled protection. But from a functional point of view, these could be a problem, because for example, a, the, a spear, for example, of an opponent could be caught in this and you will be completely stuck. But apart from that, it's a very good looking piece. I think my friend did a very good job in creating it. So, as you know, it is now wearing time. So this is the armour that we were talking about and I really feel like I were entered Diablo 3. If you are a fan of the series, I think you, have, you will appreciate the work my friend Alessio has put into all the many hours he has put into creating this. Um, so let's evaluate. It feels really good. I feel very protected, particularly in the upper torso, um, also the lower torso, I have to say. The left arm is not protected, so probably I would have a right fighting stance if I was using this, because this is the striking arm and also the, um, the most protected arm, uh, which is a little different from uh, how historical things were. Normally in historical uh, fighting you would have, particularly in the Middle Ages, you would have the left side in front, and that's one of the reasons why. Normally asymmetrical pauldrons, particularly in Northern Italian style, would have bigger pauldrons on the left and smaller pauldrons on the right to be more nimble for attack, for attacking. In this case, I wouldn't be very, uh, you know, it, 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 I would have quite a bit of weight on the right arm, but considering that I'm dual wielding, I think it shouldn't be a big, a big problem. So, what do you think about this armour? Do you like the way it's been created? Do you like the armour in the game and do you like this cosplay version? Please let me know in the comments below. Okay then, so, this is, as I said, my friend Alessio Mannino. Hi ho. And uh, he is the creator of this. He's a cosplayer, but he also makes lots of different things. Basically, he can make anything. Um, if you want, why don't you? Why not having a look at his Facebook Facebook page? And if you want to see some of his works, and he's got a lot of interesting material. So thank you very much, Alessio, for helping me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Once again, the thank you very much for your time, Nova Ones. I hope you Bye. enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on my next video here on the Metatron's channel. Take care.